I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to force him into it. What's going on, Jenny, today? <laughs> Kelly, what's going on today? Can you tell me? What kind of excursionary tactic are you using today? Excuse me. Well, you need to go to your cabin, Drew. Your mom, I know, is calling you, and do you have your um, T-shirts there? Okay. Yeah, that's our ice chest. Here's the first arrivals here. Hi. Joan and okay, okay. Kelly, move for a minute, please. Hi, Dad. You got something to say before this gets started? Well, this is the first one we've ever had, and between two two brothers, we produced a, a group of 44 people, only two of which could not make it. Who are those two? Um, Tim and Renee are moving to Alaska and couldn't uh, couldn't come down to this fair. What's their real excuse, though? <coughs> She's expecting. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> That's a good excuse. Joan? Hi. We're in there, too. Whoops. There you are, right Hi. there. Here's what the stakes are. What's going on? Well, I'm, hel I'm here helping set up. Um, again. Again, and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. I do like to do things like this. So okay, this good. is fun for me. Okay, um, good. Here's, here's Becky. for the meat. Platters for the <laughs> meat. Becky. And Becky, let's show him our shirts. See, yeah. the Ireland, Let me or the O'Keefe family. Yeah, the focus leprechaun. on the, <laughs> focus on our shirts, Boop. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Melissa, do you have your shirt? Well, Joan, you? quit moving. Okay. Let me focus in on your shirt. Melissa, come. You want to Come and get in the picture, come come Melissa. Hurry, hurry. Come on. Uncle Spike, show, show off your thing. shirt. Get the O'Keefe. Show off your shirt. Here's another one. Here's another one. <laughs> There's Melissa <laughs> Louise Oates. This is Melissa. She's the littlest one. Well, no, That's hardly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, Molly and Carla. Oh, ooh, <laughs> that. that is. <laughs> this is the littlest old one. <laughs> Put your hand down so I can see your shirt. The youngest one in school. How's that? <laughs> okay, let's clarify this. Okay, Spike, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, okay this is very nice to be here this evening on the early gr group coming in for the O'Keefe family reunion banquet done in great style as it usually is. These are the answer sheets right here to the trivia. Uh oh. Oh, where's the answer sheets? Aunt Janelle, what do you have to say? Here, I'm gonna move. This has been My dad says there's 44 people supposed to be here. There's five. There's 30. 30. 44 plus one non-member of the family who is going to join us tonight, who is the babysitter for Jennifer and Jim Joy. And she's going to be part of the group tonight. But other than that, we've got 44. A, a real Irish girl. A real Irish girl. We're glad to see you join us. Okay. Have you had a chance to talk? Yeah, I've tried to move it. Well, you should get those frozen off. I'm not a physician. You're Chris, right? Or are you Brian? Look out. You're Brian. No, Chris is a little tiny one. Uh, that's Chris. That's Chris right over there. Right there. There's Chris. He's so cute. He's so cute. Yep. He's the one that keeps on walking in the 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 What do you have to say for yourself? Um, 1996 will be the year. Okay. No, I haven't done it yet. You haven't? I work on it. I'm going to drink. 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 I'm going to drink.
Uncle Mike has a picture for you, Sean. Not only that, but you can, he can talk. He can talk. Hi, Cousin Mike. Please, Shannon, please. Okay, what are your names? What are your names? On the count of three, one at a time, yell out your name, okay? One, two, three. On the count of three, yell out your names. One at a time. All right. One, two, three. Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny. Did you know that you No, I first thought you were always in O'Keefe. Becky? Hi. Boys, girls? Once in O'Keefe, always in O'Keefe, right? We're, we're, we're leaking. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Did you tape even though it wasn't working? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to give a few yeah. of the answers okay. tonight. Here, you got to take this off. Get everybody over here. <laughs> One to one hundred. <laughs> You can just okay. kind of visualize the people. Oh, you can. We're going to uh, we're going to give a few answers tonight, but I'd like to know which questions you'd like to answer first. Who are the Williams sisters? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take that one up. Okay, no, go ahead. I'm going to get it. Jason, 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 you know, real good again. You want to do this and I can write down my answers. Okay, here are the big cars. The Williams sisters used to live next to the Holy Cross Church, a little hill about Water Street in Santa Cruz. So they were, that's the answer. Hey, Jack, your nose is growing. Hey, Pinocchio. <laughs> well, you guys should have got together on this now. <laughs> it was Jack okay. I really go you can do disqualified. The Williams sisters were four girls who were never married. They lived in Santa Cruz and were for a Santa Cruz Old Boys reunion. The Williams or sisters any time, were always Dave, there. Dave, or any time. Any time. And Grandma Lou was highly suspicious of these four women, <laughs> thinking they had intentions on, uh, on Jack. <laughs> But so what did they knew each other in high school. Yeah. So they were not, first of all, they were not hookers. Anybody that said the Williams sisters were hookers is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but none of them ever married. That's why I let you know. And mom, your grandfather no, visited them Finster. every time oh, we went to Santa Cruz. They would have one They never did go that. They were the Maybe they were Maybe they were hookers. Maybe they were hookers. Maybe they were hookers. The only question is, did he stay with them? Not that we can handle people were born where? One Which one was born in England? Oh. Hi. Did, I, did we do Ireland and okay. England? When in England, did you all get Ireland? that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did uh, how did Mike get to the uh, U.S.? No but that is a lie. Very carefully. Okay. Very carefully. Conjecture. I agree with yeah. you. It was a it was never I proven. Buy, I buy your idea. When, the, uh, when we finish dinner tonight, I'm going to give you a, a history that has all the facts in it. You can read that for yourself. Oh, seriously? We do get the answers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, good. I don't have to write them down. Okay. You'll get a history. Good. Okay. What became, a Michael, what became a Michael Keefe's rant? Nudist. Nudist. How many said nudist camp? How many said uh, Monterey Bay Community College? No, it's Cabrillo. <laughs> it's called Cabrillo. Becky did, though. No, okay, uh, it's called Cabrillo. What did Michael Keefe do for a living? He was a member of the IRA and was forced out of Ireland. Bar and uh, He worked on the railroads. Ran. Okay, there were two correct answers on this. Oh, a trick question. That's pretty bad. He worked the railroads to the West Coast. Okay, where are, uh, where are they buried? Santa Cruz. Who said it? See. Doctor. In Ireland? <laughs> Where were Herman and Lena born? Norway. Tromso, Norway. How many said Norway? Okay, I think I did. How many said somewhere else? Okay, now this is really a piece of trivia. What was Herman's real name when he came into the United States? 
How did he get his name? There are too many parents gave it to him. He came in as a Barnacle Brian. There we go. And they said you, there's too many Swensons here. Oh, oh, what God. was your father's name? He said Helmer. Oh. So your name is Helmer. Oh. <laughs> this is Jake for becoming Charbroil. What was the We're name? We're having a dinner issue behind you, Dad. You can make the fire. Her father saddled up his fastest day. The valley's all over. He sought his daughter at Grace Street and the slim gypsy So here we've got this lady who lives in a castle, and this gypsy comes to visit. She falls head over heels. She follows this gypsy out of the castle. Of course, her father has to come follow her, you know, because, you know, she's so pretty. So we have to figure this out, you know. The beast. The beast. The came at last to a castle line. Down by the river. There was music and there was wine for the gypsy and his way. Adi do, adi do, da de. Adi do, adi de. She is feasting in the castle with this gypsy that she just picked up. All of a sudden, she discovers, she discovers something very unique about this gypsy. Could you be quiet, ladies? Metal! She discovers something very unique about this guy that she's just kind of met, you know, the gypsy and all that. Here she is, a princess. You are no gypsy, my lover, my dear, but the lord of these lands all over. And I'll love you till my dying day, my whistling gypsy rose. So he disguised himself as a gypsy, so she wouldn't fall in love with him because of his money. Okay? So she married a liar. She married a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Lindy? Well, I'll sing it with you. Oh, good. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't remember the first one. I can't remember the word. You all get up? I didn't know. Come over here. 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 Oh, <laughs> 
today, you know, and I think Dave repeated it, the two guys great 40, we should have been 44 people here today, it's really an amazing situation. And, and we're proud of everything we have. There's a lot of Irish in us, there's a lot of a lot of things in us here. So we're so damn happy to have you guys all get together. It was a tough thing. I'm going I'm to congratulate my daughter Becky again for uh, putting it together for us. Yeah. Hey, hey, we got more days to come too. Go ahead, Dave. Well, all, all I can say is nothing is better than family, and I think the wonderful length that <laughs> we have of getting to see each other again, and it reminds me of the first time I went to Ireland, and as you know, we have some Irish uh, ties, but there was kind of a feeling of coming home, and I think when we all get together like this, there's a tremendous feeling of coming home with wives, <laughs> brothers, spouses, everybody else, and whoever else is around. I've known my brother a long time, but not as long as he's known me. <laughs> right. And never well. And yeah, never well. But it's great to be here. We love you all, and uh, we're going to have a super week. And uh, it's our pleasure to be the patriarchs of this wonderful family. Hey, we just started the week, girls hey, and boys. We're we'll have a lot of fun. Name in general. <laughs> no. What Janelle and I want to say is, it's been a joy. We've enjoyed, hey, there have been bad moments, but there have also been those wonderful, wonderful moments. 
You've all been a joy. We love you all. Our grandchildren are absolutely most precious things. Oh, God, don't do this. <laughs> but anyhow, they are, to me, my children and my grandchildren are so precious, I can't tell you. And it's because we met those crazy men <laughs> over there <laughs> that we got all, everything we have here, all these treasures. And I'll ditto yeah. everything you said. <laughs> You're good on here, good on here. Yeah. We have got wonderful children and David still and I are going over down a while. We're, just, ah, we're bursting with pride. <laughs> That's all we have to say. That's it. Wax all the dips and steer parked around the floor, you cousin shape. <laughs> Wasn't it? Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun down at the lake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun down at the lake. Well done. Whack full of little lambs to your partner around the floor, you cousin Jake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Phoenix. Down no, at the lake. Yeah. This song is borrowed from an old Irish song. It's a, it's a drinking song. So I'm working within a very restrained uh, chorus here. Really. You have to bear with me, okay? You're doing great. You're doing great. I forgot my flashlight. Sorry. Yeah. Someone, someone. Mind coming? Oh, boy. They traveled far <laughs> by plane and car to a place renowned for the sun and the sand. As far as D.C. and Washington, to the first O'Keefe reunion. They came for the fun, they came for the pride. To quiz and win a trivia prize. To gamble golf and grow in the <laughs> and swim in the tide and to see their Girl. uncle's seedy side black for the dill dance to your partner around the floor you cut to shake you wasn't hit the truth I told you lots of fun down at the lake lake <laughs> we all assembled at the lodge when Jack and Dave provided steak. <laughs> there surely was a lot of bull. <laughs> Who could ever imagine how much we'd drink? <laughs> then Uncle Jack began to cry. <laughs> Lovely reunion yeah. did you ever see? Gosh, your mug said Uncle D. Your drink is all of my whiskey. <laughs> Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun down at the lake. Well, you know, I was hoping Mike would get a toast, so this is the first time. Then Mike arose to make a toast when a glass of whiskey flew at him. Missed him and landed right on Ken, and the whiskey splattered all over him. Then the O'Keefe's began to face off. It was woman to woman and man to man. <laughs> the children fled for the cabin, and a roll and a ruckus soon began. Flat for the dead land, so around the around the floor, your cousin's shake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun. It was then that Becky called for a truce. <laughs> when the camp officials came to the door, it's time to put away the booze. And wash the whiskey off the floor. <laughs> For shame, we should all try to get along. For us to be together, it's been too long. Let's spend the week in joy and song before we hit the road again. Whack for the little and your partner around the floor. Wasn't it the truth? I told you not to find out at the lake. Whack for the little and your partner around the floor.
That's our little cabin right there. Okay, that's enough. Hi. Here we are at um, Camp Richardson. We're going down to the lake. It's about 7.30. Okay. Megan's eating some bacon. And... No Kelly's bacon, Kelly's going to do some parasailing. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Spike, can you see through there now? Not really. It's getting better, though. There's Jennifer's place. And off in the distance there is. Are you seeing through the deep under? Well, right now the sun's out. I don't know. Who I am? Okay. Hi. It's, it's okay. working again? Yeah. Hi. Here we are at um, Camp Richardson, Lake Tahoe, for the O'Keefe Family Reunion '93. See? <laughs> Going down. There's Patty and Dave's place right there. <coughs> and spinning the globe. Kenny and Cindy, and there's the lake. Lake Take. How many games did you win? Five. And there's Uncle Dave's. No. See All right. the restaurant action right there. Here they are, the parasailers. Well, well, John, I already saw John on the way down. I said, John, don't rush. They haven't parasailed yet. So uh, he walked, started walking back. Oh, okay. Maybe because the rest of his plan is Here's the brave parasailers. Okay, guys, show There's two more, though. Here's the other two. Right here. <laughs> the fearless parasailers. And then there's Chris, who needs the jolt. I'm observing. There's Antonelle. <laughs> Like Good, morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good <laughs> morning. This is our favorite beach. I'm the cheerleader. It's in a boat, Mom. I know. Oh, good. Well, now tell me how to do it. Well, Dave was there, too. Dave's Jr. So, how did you all do it? I was about five and a half minutes, about 20 or five. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's going to be... Is it Jenny and Kelly first? Yeah. Keep going. Keep the date. Actually, Kelly's all tonight. 7-9-93. Kelly and Jenny, and Brian and Chris and Abby are getting ready to pair them. What's funny, Joan, is I can see through it perfectly clear now. It was, it was foggy. I couldn't see it.
Yes, I am.